there seems to be a spectrum that runs from AI is a, a huge opportunity for all of us, uh, let's take advantage of it, let's make the world a better place, to uh, AI is gonna bring about World War III, uh, everyone needs to be careful, and we're all, we're all writing our own death ticket. Where do you fall on that spectrum? So I'm definitely more optimist, but not utopian. We can realize most of the strong benefits. We can steer away from the dystopias and the kind of the World War III, uh, but we have to be intelligent about it and we need to kind of accelerate to the right kinds of outcomes. So we can bring medicine to the entire world, we can bring education to the other three billion, um, we can actually in fact revolutionize industries and productivity in really good ways that will cause job transformation and other kinds of challenges and we'll need to be intelligent about how we go through that. What's the next iteration for us, for humans? Because right now we think about ourselves as social network animals. What is our next iteration? I think we're going to see a lot of amplification of areas of capability, right? So the transformation about which way software is transforming the world uh, is going to then hit a bunch of different industries, which will mean things like, you know, like the medicine one is one of the ones I think is in the near term, where we actually in fact have small devices that help with um, kind of medical diagnosis and medical uh, kind of proactive care uh, that will then become broadly available throughout most of the world. And I think that's a transformation we're going to see. I think we're going to see transformation in what are the ways that we make education available, not just kind of through high school and college, but ongoing. There's a huge conversation happening now back in Washington about the role Facebook and, and other social media companies are playing. Um, and whether or not they have a responsibility to the American people to be more than just platforms where anything can happen, anyone can advertise, anyone can talk. Do you have thoughts on that? We don't just want to say to the social platforms, you guys make all the decisions about truth and then tell us about it. Right. That would be an anti-democratic way. Like say for example, you know, Google and Facebook and so are saying, we're gonna start making decisions about truth for you. Mm -hmm. People would then be up in arms. They'd be like, what, what, you shouldn't be doing that? So to make those decisions about truth, they need to work with what is usually governments, which have some saying, here's what our will as a people is, and here's how we'd like to evolve your platform to help the citizens understand that. And we need to have that collective understanding as a democracy in order to make that happen.